Hey guys, Steel Love on here. So you know what time it is. It's time for the folding knife collection update for 2022. Uh, so in here is going to be my favorite fixed blades. This is just the, the first of two cases here. Um, the second one has all folding knives. This has my favorite fixed blades in it. And then overall you're going to see probably 65 super high quality American made uh, knives in here in this collection. Uh, so it's going to be a long video. Grab a drink, sit back, relax, hope you enjoy and maybe leave down in the comments which is your favorite or favorites. Um, I'd love to hear, or if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know. So I guess we'll get going. It's gonna take a minute to get through all these. First off, this is just a Blade HQ challenge coin with the mermaid on it. If you know the meme, you know the meme. Uh, tie survival coin there. This here is a little tiny scalpel I made out of 1080 blade steel here with a mustard patina, that's what those lines are. And some distressed beads on there. A little Kydex sheath for it. So yeah, I made that one. This is another one that I made. Here is a 1080 steel, once again. One of the early ones I made. This one I made with files. Orange liners, black uh, micarta for the handles. Really nice little fixed blade, good size. And nice retention on the Kydex. This knife is made by Creeley Blades. This is his Mako model in 20 CV with G10 handles and blue liners. And this is a sheath from Joe Fu with that Mandalorian symbol and cool two-tone leather on there. Really great sheath. Here's another one that I made. This one is N690 blade steel, uh, acid washed. This is shred carbon fiber with removable handles on it. So really great little kind of medium duty design. I like it. And I made this Cadex too with a tech lock on it. Right here, we got a, this is a Bark River, the uh, Hunter Light, I believe, because it's got the thinner blade stock. Uh, CPM 3B on this, as you can see on the blade, and it's got kind of green and blue dyed maple burl for the handles. And of course, it's got this cool leather sheath that's been treated to make it waterproof. This is an SE4 in S35VN. Black gray G10 there for the handles. Really great little size, size camp knife there. And here's another one that I made, EDC fixed blade. Made this, uh, I bought the sheath, but I restitched it and put this Celtic knot in it with a wood burner. 1080 blade steel on here, maple handles with this white, white G10 liners on there. Nice little one. And here's the most recent one that I've made. Once again, this is a Joe Fu leather sheath, same guy that makes that. Blue stitched with a cool little Celtic cross on there. This one is in 20 CV uh, with a nice machine satin on there. That was very hard to achieve. Uh, blue, black, white G10 handles there. They're kind of marbled texture, really neat. And of course, they're removable. That's just smudging from my fingers. So there's my favorite fixed blade that I've made. Great EDC little size and blade shape. So now on the folders. This is a Case Knives Rust Lock uh, in stainless steel, green jig bone. All right here we got a mini copper lock in maple. Once again, stainless steel. This is a little slip joint. I'm actually not sure where this one's made. Um, it's got a wolf head on it. Not sure the wood or the maker. Just a neat little one. Probably a four blade slip joint. This is a Spectrum Energetics Utilizer. I think it's the 2.0 if I remember correctly. Um, I anodized the thumb discs and this deep carry pocket clip. 
uh, using 9 volts. That was a fun little project. I probably should have swapped blades out for the video, but whatever. This one I use at work all the time. Great little United States made utility knife. Here is a Spyderco uh, Native 5. This is the salt version in LC200N. Just good old stock Spyderco. This is a Para 3 in Maximet. Factory 2nd, and I got a blade show this year. And this is a Factory 2nd Paramilitary 2 in Maximet. And this one has a deep carry clip on it from Light Lynch. Casey Lynch, I think is his name. Yeah, he makes great clips though. This is a Protec TR3 S35VN. And it's got a Benchmade deep carry clip on there. This one's very scratched up, as you can see, because I use it a lot. Benchmade 943. One of my favorite uh, Benchmades and my favorite of the 940 series. American flag clip on there just for fun, a little bit of flare. Uh, blue backspacer, and I put a mirror polish on the on the edge there. This is a Benchmade Triage. Use this one a lot. Really like the uh, design and the features on it. Uh, N680 with blade steel. And this one's S30V, in case I didn't say it. This is kind of the same blade as the uh, Triage, but with a drop point. This is the Benchmade Striker 2. Once again, uh, this one's in 154cm, got G10 handles there, the deep cry clip, really great bench made, love that one. Let's see if I can flip these under the camera, there we go. Dog bite 3.1, this one is in 440c. Titanium handles that I stonewash, they used to be green, but I stripped the anodizing off, stonewashed them. So, really great, kind of mid-tier valley, I'm no expert, but... I can appreciate quality. Here is a zero tolerance. This is the 808. And I've done a acid stone wash there, kind of stripey. And heat anodized the handle, put blue screws on there. And a cool little deep carry clip on there. So this one's been a, a good modding knife. Same deal with this one. Did a hand rub satin on the flats there to get rid of the logoing. Put black micarta handles on it, a uh, deep carry clip, and a oversized uh, zirconium thumb disc. This is the ZT640 um, in 20 CV. Really great, great big knife there. Like it. ZT393. Once again, I uh, acid washed the bevels on it. Took the anodizing off the liners, put black micarta handles on it, and stripped the paint off of the pocket clip there. Like it looks really good now. This is the ZT562. Once again, acid wash the blade. I made this scale for it at a black and green G10. I also acid washed the pivot. And I made this 9mm over travel stop for it. Really cool knife. Get a lot of use out of that one. And on to some... There's some more hinders later in the video, but here's two of them. This is a Warncliffe Gen 4. Black uh, scale. S35VN for the blade steel. Um, and this is the... It's got a green over travel stop on there. XM18 3 inch in the Warncliffe. And then here is a spear point, I guess technically a drop point, Hinder, uh, Hinder XM18 3 and a half inch. This is the, with the black, battle black finish. Um, 20 CV for the blade steel on this, and I have it on bearings still, um, but I'm thinking about swapping it over soon. So, to washers. Alright, so that includes uh, this box here. I'll quick swap over and we'll get going with those ones. All right, so here's the next case. We'll get going right away. So this is a little Yojumbo pin uh, for anybody who's asking, it's non-functional. Um, but here is the first one. 
This is a millet torrent. I'm not sure which generation, but it's got carbon fiber and damasteel on there. Very cool. And kind of an acid washed uh, handle. Very, very cool. Love that patterning on there. This is a hodgepodge of the Knifeworks exclusive Benchmade 940 and the uh, Blade HQ blade. So it's got the M4 blade with the blue black uh, handles and the blue standoffs there. And a deep carry clip on there. This is the Benchmade Mini Skirmish with the black blade S30V. And I re-drilled this one for tip down to accept a Benchmade deep carry clip. Really cool one there. This is the Freeman 451 carbon fiber. Uh, I believe S35 VN. Yep. For the blade steel. And I also put this deep carry clip on there. Which works great. Really great retention and much better than the one that it came with. Really fun action on that button lock. And a nice big overall size. Spyderco Yojimbo 2. This one is in S90V and it's got Aramis G10 scales on there. Really cool. And an MXG deep carry clip on there. This is a ZT470, totally stock, but one of my favorite CT models here. This is an Olamic Wayfarer 247. This one I custom ordered like this with the blue accents and M390 blade steel on there. In case I didn't say, this one is 20 CV for the 470. Here is a Alamic Busker. I anodized the hardware purple and heat anodized the backspacer like that. It's got that cool kind of wavy pattern. And then it's got this cool pocket clip on here that looks like a pen. You just drop the whole thing in your pocket, it looks like a pen sticking out of your corner of your pocket. Um, so it's low profile. And this one is also an M390. Really interesting little knife there. This is a, a Benchmade Morpho. D2 blade steel. And cool blue jeweling under those G10 handles. Very lightweight compared to my titanium one. This is the Knifeworks Exclusive 710 in M390 with blue and black G10 contoured handles there. Just had this piece of tape on there because it has my name on it. And I put a black deep carry clip on there. Really awesome blade there. Love it. Now here's a couple of Ultratex. This one is a hodgepodge of the Elio. Uh, show side and the UMS everything else so it's all blacked out the two-tone blade and then it's got this LEO uh, scale on there and then here's two more Ultratex these are the blade show editions of 2018 and 2021 both stonewash blades uh, both M390 as is this one uh, the blue one so very similar, but show exclusives, so kind of rare. Oop. Get rid of those guys. Next up is a very cool one. This is not the CRKT Morphin Rabbit. This is the Joe Caswell, uh, made by Millet, the mid-tech. Basically like six times the price of the CRKT ones that you see. Uh, you can see his Joe Caswell logoing on the blade there, super cool. The knight riding a horse with the sword. The blade steel on this, 
is uh, 3V, CPM 3V. And uh, to unlock it, you move this little bar over, and you can see the whole blade articulates. You can open and close it like that with the thumb. Very neat. And of course, it has this spring-loaded pocket clip as well. Really, really cool. I didn't say, but this is the, the V2 version, Revolution 5. Made by Millet, designed by Joe Caswell. Here is a Microtech SOCOM Elite, full size, two-tone blade, black everything else, and I redrilled it uh, so that it's dip up. And this one's in M390 as well. Really cool one. Love this blade. Discontinued ZT. This is the 620, I think. Could be wrong. Uh, marble carbon fiber on the scale there. 20 CV blade. I made this 9mm uh, thumb disc on it. And I put a actual Emerson pocket clip on it. Oh, excuse me, this is 204P for the blade steel. So I like that one a lot. Emerson Gentleman Jim, 154CM, pretty much stock, except for the deep carry clip and this uh, oversized thumb disc. Really like the uh, profile of this one. Looks, looks nasty. And this is the Sheepdog, also in 154CM. This one is totally bone stock, and I like it that way. Both of those have the uh, coating on the blade, in case you couldn't see. Here is the uh, Sabenza 31 by Chris Reeve Knives. Uh, this is the older version with S35VN for the blade steel. Uh, black micarta for that inlay. Stonewashed blade, and of course the cool inlay on the other side. Really like these. And of course the Omnonzon, also S35VN, with the drop point. Yes, I prefer it to the Tonto. And I stonewashed the handles on these so they don't show wear as much. Really cool one. I think I like this maybe even more than the... Uh, and the 31. Alright, this is a weird one. This is the Heretic Knives Hydra. It's a single action out the front. Um, and I just put these decals on here. I want to see how they hold up with time. Uh, but I think it's kind of... Kind of add a little bit of zing to it. I think it's cool. Twisted T lanyard bead on here. Um, since you have to... You push the button in. You have to pull it back to recharge it each time. And then you just push the button and it shoots out. So, yeah, Heretic Knives Hydra. Very cool. With the blue and black. I also cut the clip in half here. It used to have two sides of this clip with a big H for Heretic, which I thought was kind of dorky. So I cut it down and made it look like a like a normal, normal clip. Uh, this one's in LMAX. Here's the Holt Haptic. This one, I re-anodized both the handles and the hardware to my liking. I also ground the tip down into more of a traditional Warncliffe blade instead of the ugly looking sheep's foot that they have. That's also not very functional. Like this a lot better. Um, and now I think it's a great little knife. Also put a uh, Jillian salt and pepper bearings in this, which means it's very smooth. Hinderer Eclipse, the, on the triway, this one's on bearings, Stonewash Tonto, and a gray and black G10 scale on there. Glow in the Dark, over travel stop, I forget who makes it, and 20 CV for the blade seal on this. Really like this one. XM18, three and a half inch, this one has the kind of snakeskin, copper, and carbon fiber scale on there. Um, this is a DLT trading exclusive with the uh, Warncliffe with no choil. Working finish for there. 
and it's also got some other copper accents on there. It's backspacers and the filler tab and whatnot. M390 for that one. Here's my favorite three and a half inch. This one's been reground by Mr. Tom Crine. Super, super thin hollow grind. I uh, bought this tie scale here, stripped it of anodizing. I anodized this hardware to put on it, so it's got blue accents now. 20 CV on the blade steel. And I also bought this 35 year anniversary filler tab for it recently. And it's got a blue and purple peat gray over travel stop there. This one's on bearings, totally wicked. Love this one. This is another awesome hinderer. This is the Southern Edges exclusive uh, Black Friday edition. It's got the Bowie, it's a Eclipse model with the black wash finish, Bowie blade shape, which is the Southern Edges exclusive. All blacked out hardware, carbon fiber scale, and uh, I added this zirconium over travel stop there. I also added carbon fiber filler tab to match the show side. And that one's in 20 CV. I really love that one. I like the Eclipse model, I think, a little bit better than the XM18. If push comes to shove. This is a Monolith Knives Mark II, I believe. Um, this one is in Damasteel. Super, super beautiful patterning there. Added this deep carry clip. And uh, really like this copper backspacer there. Super, super gorgeous custom knife. This is a custom Jeff Blavelt. This is the Corsair model. Nitro V uh, blade steel there. I actually re-acid stone washed it. Titanium handles. This is a superconductor uh, pivot collar there from the Hadron Particle Collider uh, in Europe, as is this pivot collar here. If you can see the patterning in there, very cool. Copper and niobium patterned. Really awesome looking design. Orange peeled backspacer. Small size, like it. Little recurve on there. You can't mistake his uh, design language. This is a Gavco Custom Tiger Shark. Also Nitro V with that awesome blade steel or uh, Bowie blade shape there. Awesome milling on this. Actually stripped the anodizing. This used to be kind of a green color. Took the anodizing off of it. Like it much better like this. But I left the backspacers green. Really cool uh, milling lines and everything on this one. Super awesome custom bearings. Can be used the hole or the flipper equally well. That's a really cool one. This one's a new acquisition. These are very hard to find. This is the Derek Monroe Cypher. This is the Mark III with the spinal uh, pattern, which I think is the more desirable pattern of the two. Really, really awesome CNC custom maker here. It's got a bronze inlay there on the pivot. Just gorgeous milling here. Awesome little details everywhere. Bronze on that pivot collar as well, and bronze on the pocket clip. Very fine little inlay. Awesome Warrencliffe blade shape. Overall, the profile is super slender and sleek, with a very nice long blade on there. And uh, awesome action. It's a really awesome one. I'm stoked to have. Here is a Holt Blade Works Spectre stonewashed blade there. Uh, and this is the kind of pinstriping model. There you go, it's showing up now. Pinstriping detail on it. Really like the uh, pivot on this, 20 CV for this. Um, in case I didn't mention it, this one's S90V, the uh, Derek Monroe Cypher. So, 
Really, really happy to have a Spectre in the collection. Actually, not only one. Here's the second of my Spectres. This one was the Gen 3 with the frame lock. This is Gen 4 Spectre with the mirror blade and this awesome fat carbon milling on there. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous piece there. Carbon fiber Holt Spectre. And here's the other side of it. M390 blade steel on here with a near mirror pit, uh, polish. So that one's very cool. Look at this action. Impressive. This is a Richard Rogers. This is a recent pickup. Richard Rogers V4 XHP for the blade steel. Blue black G10 for that awesome inlay. Once again, just gorgeous milling on this. Great size, great action, and of course, very hard to get. This is a Tough Knives Prospect. This is my custom ordered one with that airspace milling uh, pattern in there. Really, really gorgeous knife here. Two tone Nitro V blade, blue accents throughout, and uh, definitely one of my favorites I've ever seen him make. So I'm privileged to own it. Tough Knives Prospect is the model no uh, name. This is a Utzler uh, duck, the full-size duck, not the duckling. Uh, it's got this kind of special milling pattern. I don't see that very often on these. Blue hardware for the accents, satin 20 CV blade on there. And just love the milling on this. Love the pivot. Action's gorgeous on it. Blue backspacer, blue pocket clip. It's totally wicked. Wicked piece. Here's one of the more over-the-top pieces I have. This is a Brown Knives LHCX. Fat carbon with blue in there. This is Damasteel with a totally wicked patterning there. Absolutely gorgeous. And sand blast or uh, bead blast for all the titanium. So, absolutely one of my favorites. And insane action as the usual. This one's a weird one. This is a VC Edge interface. This thing only weighs 1.7 ounces. The handles and the blade are all made out of carbon fiber. And there's a little tiny piece of steel sandwiched in between the carbon fiber that is sharpened for the edge. So this, uh, the idea behind this is all about the lightest knife possible uh, for its size. So this one's in S35VN, one of the older uh, versions that he made. And I really like this unidirectional carbon fiber that he uses for the handle and the blade. Um, I think it's way more attractive than like his more standard carbon fiber patterning that he uses. This is interface number 32. He labels them all. And it's got this cool inset frame lock for the other side. And a nice stubby little pocket clip. Really, really interesting, different knife. VC Edge interface. Here is a G&G Hawk Deadlock Model C. This one's one of the special ones with the black hardware, black blade, and fat carbon in there. Really the best OTF I've ever handled, bar none, hands down. And it's got this cool articulated pocket clip there. Absolutely wicked action and zero blade play as advertised. Really love that the logo, the blade edge, and the camo will kind of tie together on this one. I thought it was definitely the best, best matched one 
of the bunch. Second to last, this is a, I waited almost two years for this one to come. This is a custom ordered um, Edgar Cole Chimera. AEBL for the blade steel on there. Um, actually, I didn't say which this one was in. It doesn't say on it. I don't know what this blade steel is. I could look it up though. But anyway, uh, Edgar Cole Chimera. This one I custom ordered. This pattern uh, that's coated black, Cerakote, um, ABL, Stonewashed Blade. And it's got Dragonfire Zerkutai for that pivot collar and also for the back spacer. So absolutely gorgeous highlights in a good user model. Um, just really love everything about this. Super sleek, insane action on it. Great uh, slim profile and just love the details. Love that it was exactly to my specifications. So there's that one. And I got one more. The Crown Jewel is a Sharp by Design Brian the Doe Arch Nemesis. This one's got carbon fiber uh, for that inlay there. Nitro V blade steel with insane milling there. Totally, totally wicked. Mirrored on both sides with that inlay. Cool pocket clip. Absolutely insane work from him. And I uh, got super lucky to, to get this. Well, that concludes the 2022 folding knife collection video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I know I have some outrageously insane stuff here. Um, so maybe leave that in your comments, which was your favorite or your top five. I don't know. Or if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them right down below. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.